I'm going to show you how this compact six disc CD changer found in a Nissan Versa made by Clarion actually works. The reason I'm doing this is because mine actually jammed and I had to tear it apart and find out why. I think I found the problem. So I'm going to show you how the mechanism works. It's very similar to a record based or LP based jukebox that you'd find in a pizza parlor. Okay, in the middle you have a stack of discs. Now, in order for those to play, you have to split them apart. You split this stack apart to wherever you would like it to play, and, well, let's watch it work. I'm going to now load disc number three. So what it does is it compresses the stack, splits them apart to where disc number three will be found, and it begins to play. 311 transistor. Good tune. Now, what about disc four? I believe that's the top of the stack. There it goes. Now, to eject disc number four, simply hit the eject button. Select a disc. Yeah, disc four. And out comes disc number four. There we go. It's not operating properly because there's no cover, so it sees daylight, so it screws up all the sensors. Now I'm going to eject disc number three. Stop, stop, stop. Now it's going to come up with a mechanism error. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Why don't we do this? We're going to eject. It still thinks there's a disc because it didn't see it come out. <laughs> Loading four. See how that works? Kind of cool, huh? The arm that comes in and out is actually the, the laser beam and the drive motor for the disc. And because it still thinks there's a disc in there, it's trying to play it. Jokes on him. Read error. There we go. Now it's going to change to disc three, maybe. Now let's eject disc number three. I want to take everything out of here because I want to relubricate the mechanism so it doesn't jam again. Okay. You see how that works? See, there's no way to stop it. Now it's going to load number two. Let's eject number two. That way there will be nothing in here. Now, I still think there's a disc in there, stupid fuck. Alright. Why don't we load a disc? Now it's going to verify there's nothing there. Now, 
once I get this all back together again, it'll be working as it should, I hope. See, I wanted to get it to a point where it says there's no disc at all in the unit, and that way I'll be able to uh, reset the whole mechanism. Read error. Now what are you going to do? Check disk 2. But load. Uh, let's load slot 1. Well, looks like that's all the time we have for now. Till next time.